Hello, 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 Amphrodite here, your pop culture psychic, back to you again with another true crime reading. This time it's on the Murdoch family and the alleged murders involved. So this story is freaking wild. I cannot even recap this really quickly. You're going to have to do your own research because there is a massive timeline with so many events. He had um, so Alex, I think his name is Alex Murdoch, had over 71 charges filed allegedly against him um, from things like there was this, there's a conspiracy that he tried to have himself um, killed for insurance money for his son. There is um, conspiracy of him stealing money from the businesses that he owned. There's a ton of stuff and a ton of allegations. It's crazy. There's also a mysterious death of his a housekeeper and a mysterious death of his wife and kid and a lot of people um are suspecting him and there are allegations that he did it so we're gonna go ahead and look at this this is a crazy situation that i did not know about um so i'm gonna do my best here it's gonna be chaotic and all over the place but we're gonna do our very best so remember these rings are all alleged for any teamers only and the purpose here is to help and get some information okay so let's get started okay so Alex, I believe that's his name, is the dad. Um, he'll be the first one, okay? Two of cops reverse, uh-oh. Okay, and then we're gonna have his wife. This would be his son. These are the two that were allegedly murdered. And then the housekeeper. Okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna pull a connector for him between each of them. The Knight of Wands connects those. The Tower connects these. And the Five of Pentacles. Okay. So. I already forgot which one was which, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I'm not sure which one was the wife and which one was the kid. Um, but it kind of doesn't matter. Um, because both of these happen at the same time and these cards are very similar. Um, so he showed up as the, not the two of cups reversed. So the two of cups is about a separation, um, that's separating yourself from other people, falling out with other people. So I do not think he was in a great place with any of these people. Um, it also seems to me like he wanted to be alone. There's a part of him that wants to be alone and wanted to be on his own. Um, the Nine of Cups here, I believe this was the wife. Um, this is about um, immaturity and irresponsibility. And the magician is here. So whichever one doesn't really matter, the sun here. Um, lack of communication, mis miscommunications, um, cold energy. So there's a lack of a connection uh, to his family. Um, it's like not really communicating or talking and not really understanding each other. Um, not really on the same page. It's like, it, it, it would be like if you were ostracized from your family. And I'm pretty sure they live together. <clears throat> so it's really weird that he would be showcasing as ostracized if they're all together. It's a red flag. And then I'm also seeing a lack of emotional maturity. Um, which is also strange. It's like emotionally stunted. Um the entire family, like the wife, the kids, the dads are all very emotionally stunted. There's something off here. Um, like there's a, there's a lack of depth emotionally for everyone involved. Um, now, the Knight of Wands is aggression and the Tower is a dramatic catastrophic event. To me, it looks like... It looks like he was angry at one of them. Um, it looks like he was angry at one of them and pissed off at one of them for causing him a problem. It looked, it, I'm pretty sure it's the sun here. Um, I see an act of anger to the sun and then the tower is about trying to fix things and making it worse. So that translates here to, sorry, I should be pointing, um, but I'm trying to focus on the energy because this is really chaotic. To me, that translates to, um, now I'm not sure if it's the kid or the, or the mom that he was angry at, but 
I definitely see him angry at someone, lashing out, and then the tower is the second person. The problem with the second person is like, fuck, I need to fix this. So there was something aggressive that happened. Um, some sort of argument, some sort of fight. I'm seeing images in my head of like the Gabby Petito thing, which if you haven't seen my reading, I'll put it up here. Um, I was pretty accurate about that one. Um, with, um, you know how Brian Laundry like basically was saying that like he quote unquote accidentally killed her or whatever. To me, this reminds me of that where an act of physical aggression could potentially have been fatal. I can't really tell, to be honest with you. Um, but there is some sort of act of accidental physical aggression that went too far. Um, and then the second person here is getting equal parts aggression because I'm trying to clean up a mess or fix something. So technically you could translate that to, um, fuck, I accidentally hurt him really bad. Shut the fuck up. Don't say anything. I'm going to say something. You're a monster. And then you hurt the second person. That's possible. Um, allegedly for entertainers only. These are all alleged for entertainers only. Um, but I'm, I'm not sure. All I can tell you is there, there has to be some form of argument or something that escalated and then translated to the other person here. Um, I think it started with the son and went to the to the to the wife. To be honest, I don't think the wife. I'm pretty sure the wife is a little bit emotionally stunted, and I believe that the son was neglected. So, I don't think I think she, I think she was a simple woman, um, emotionally, um, and she knew how to fall in line. And so I think. There's just not a lot, lot of depth there. Uh, there. There wasn't an ability to, to have any depth. Um, now, when it comes to the, the housekeeper, the Queen of Swords is reversed, which means you are in over your head. The Queen of Swords makes me think that she stumbled upon some poor, poor, some important information, um, especially when you see the Queen of Swords with a book in her hand that'd be like cleaning up a library and finding something you shouldn't have found. Um, and the Five of Pentacles is about a power dynamic. Um, so to me, that's, um, a power dynamic, having something over someone, um, sometimes abusing that. So I definitely think that she, um, knew something she shouldn't have known. Um, and I do believe that there was some sort of power placed over her. Now I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know if I would say that he did it, but I think he knows who did because if we're looking at the Five of Pentacles now, I there are allegations that he hired someone, allegedly hired someone to uh, kill him for the life insurance for his son. He's no stranger to hiring people, and the Five of Pentacles w is my apprenticeship card, so that would be about hiring someone to do something. So I do think that she was murdered, allegedly. It looks that way. I could be wrong, though. It's just an opinion. No facts here. Um, but I think that somebody else may have been may have done it. Or may have been paid to do it. I mean, it's. I mean, it could even be another family member. You know, I don't know. But um, I think he knows. But I don't think. I don't know if I would say he did it directly. Um. What's interesting about this? Let me keep pulling. There's Empress reversed. You know, the thing is, is that he's a bit of a coward. So part of me is wondering, did he do this or was he with someone else and they did it? Because he reads as a coward to me in over my head, trying to prove my innocence and the wife is reversed. I mean, he could have just freaked out after he did something too. He is like a man child. He is a man child. A complete and utter man child. The Wheel of Fortune is reversed. Bad luck, bad opportunity, Eight of Wands, King of Pentacles. It just seems to me like I know the family had a lot of wealth, but it just seems like he's always been. I think if we go back in the records, <laughs> I think that 
the father here has always been the problem child and the quote-unquote mistake. I think he's always been the one that has fucked everything up. Um, and I don't think that ever changed. I think he was like, quote-unquote, what I'm hearing is like, quote-unquote, shit stain of the family. That's like what I'm hearing. And it's a little extreme, but that's what I'm hearing. Um and to me, it's like, I think people thought that it would change, but it just continuously got worse. Um, most of the things that he did were for money um, in order to look successful. So I'm kind of seeing him as someone that was trying to compete and prove himself to others. Um, think of it like a little kid trying to seek approval from their parents. Um, and so his motiv motivation has been money all uh, consistently. And it's the success. It's like, it's like, you know, the success you get from being like a successful businessman. Um, like, I don't think he was able to be successful at work. So he was trying to find roundabout ways to be successful or to seem successful. So all of his motivation to me is about success um, and money and status and hiding things so that people don't know that he, he wasn't getting it authentically from his own talent. I'm pretty sure he hated his wife since day one though. That's like what I'm getting. The two of wands, the queen of cups reverse and the seven of swords. I don't think he quite lo liked his wife. I don't think he respected her. There's another woman here. Well, I guess T. Girl, T. We don't know if it's a woman. <laughs> but there's another person here. I wonder if he blamed his wife for something with his child. Because I'm hearing it's how you raised him. And the magician is reversed with that one kid that that died with the mom. So what I'm thinking is there's something that he didn't approve of that caused him to kind of shun him or not talk to him. Hmm. Huh. The two of wands is anger. It could be sex. Ace of cups is a loving bond. The three of swords is heartbreak. And the three of pentacles is all this hard work. That would be like, I don't approve of who you're dating or I don't approve of what you're doing. I think the son had a double life or a life in secret. The son had a secret or was made to be secretive about something because it brought embarrassment to the family or the dad. He blamed the mom for that. And then I see the dad having another person. Yeah, there's another person here. There's a there's another person. It's a younger person, someone he would um, give money to allegedly, or like take on trips, or like buy things for. I mean, the fool card is my gay card, so I don't know if that's what was going on, but. The Ace of Wands, the birth of something new, the King of Cups, and the Ten of Swords, self-sabotage. Yeah, I think he always had, I think he always had other people doing things for him. Like, I think he liked to pay for things or at least woo people somehow. Ace of Wands is the birth of something new. It's also my dick card. Oh, the dad did embarrassing things for money. 
Ace of Swords, Regrets, Page of Pentacles, Money and Expectations. Oh my God, Knight of Swords reversed. You did regretful stuff for money. He owed people for money. He did regretful stuff for money. I even think there may have been potential sexual acts for money, allegedly. Um, things that he wouldn't be proud of and wouldn't want to see the light of day. He did a lot of suspicious things for money and power. Girl, it's okay if you suck the dick, girl. <laughs> I don't know if that's what happened. But what I'm saying is like he did a lot of embarrassing things for money. And... Um, I see a lot of blackmail and a lot of threatening. Um, Devil card, three of cups, and nine of pentacles. That's blackmail. Um, and I see a lot of shit like that. And I see a lot of his decisions that he made were decisions he made to protect himself from embarrassment. I think he's done a lot of embarrassing things. Judgment card reverse, Knight of Swords. I mean, Six of Swords reverse and the Emperor reverse. It would be like it would be like if another wealthy person was like, "Okay, you want me to help you? I'll help you, but I'm going to humiliate you in front of everyone. Get in a diaper and act like a baby. Like shit, like that. Like I'm telling you, like this man has done some questionable shit for money. I mean, there are allegations of him being an addict. I mean, he went to rehab, so I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of the money was going to things like that, like drugs and stuff. But this man was getting humiliated left and right behind closed doors. I wouldn't even be surprised if he had a humiliation fetish, girl. But there's definitely some, some stuff. He was like super embarrassed of everything, everything, you know, okay. Oh my God. This reminds me of Erica Girardi or whatever and her husband. Um, because, okay. So in that case, now I'm not super familiar with that case. Should I do a reading on that? Let me know in the comments. Um, I'm not super familiar, but from what I've seen, um, he was taking money from, from other people and putting them into other people. So it's like, he's allegedly stole money from, from victims or something and then that money would go to someone else and then that money would go to someone else and it was like a kind constant like moving money from here to here to here just to not get caught that's exactly what i see here where it's like i'm gonna take money from this and move it here and i'm gonna take money from that and move it there so that i can pay this person back and then it's like when you get stuck in a hole like when a gambler gets stuck in a hole that's what it reminds me of it's like an addict who's stuck in the cycle of like paying people off and doing people favors and then every time he gets in trouble and someone's like going to expose him or something, something crazy has to happen in order to protect his secret. Um, yeah, because chariots upright, ace of pentacles is reversed, and four of pentacles. It's all money. It's it's all money and status. This is all money and status. That's also there's a car has relevance. The chariot. There's a specific relevance to some sort of car or where someone was parked or traveling during one of the murders, alleged murders. Hmm. Healing, trust, comfort, family. I feel like he would disappear for bouts of time and people would be happy and peaceful. The family would be happy and peaceful without him. I think they, I wonder if they were going to ostracize him. Lover's card, five of cups, reverse and page of wands. I wonder if the family was going to ostracize him or throw him under the bus. Yeah, he's he was super scared. I mean, that's kind of all I'm getting. I don't really know what else to say. That's kind of all I'm getting. You know what I'm thinking? Okay. I'm going to have to repull. Proving myself, decision. He's in trouble with a lot of people. He's in trouble with a lot of people. Remember I said about hiring someone when it come, came to the housekeeper?
I'm wondering if it wasn't him and if it was a message. You know, like when people get in, involved with the mafia and shit like that. Damn, I don't know. The Page of Wands reverse, the Five of Cups, the Nine of Wands walk in eggshells. Queen of Pentacles, High Priestess reverse, Seven of Pentacles. He knows. He's just, I, he's just a coward to me. So I'm like, I don't know if I, if I fully believe that he was a hundred percent capable of murder. Someone has been after him. Oh my God. The chariot is about running away from something. Did he set up his own family? Here's my question. Was he supposed to be at that cabin with his family? Why do I feel like he was supposed to be there? And why do I feel like all of them were supposed to be killed? Huh. This reading just turned. I think that he knew that someone was after him. Now, I don't know if he unknowingly or willingly set them up or if he figured it out at the last minute and bailed. This is fucking crazy. Self-sabotage, not letting go, fool. It's like if someone turned on you at the last minute. It's like if someone turned on you at the last minute. Dude, he's, I think he, I think, I think, I think he just was like, fuck it, let them go. Uh, every man for themselves. This is crazy. Girl. He definitely got in a fight with them now. There is, there is some sort of aggressive act and then there had to be a fight and then him being like, we have to clean up this mess. And then I see him getting away from it. I don't know if it was him though. Because now that I look at it, I don't know if he's the one responsible for the murders directly or if he's indirectly involved. It, to me, 
if he was directly involved, had to have been an accident. If he's indirectly involved, that makes a lot more sense. His actions causing the murder more than himself. His previous actions. This is really complicated. It would be like trading someone's life for your own. Maybe that's why he was trying to allegedly have himself killed for the life insurance because he knew that his time was coming and he wanted to set up the only heir to his family. This is fucking crazy. I don't know if this is accurate. I don't know if this is right. This is all over the place. You reap what you sow. I don't think he's the only one involved here. There's another entity involved here that we will never find out. You will not find out the truth about this. Whatever entity this is, to me, it's in the shadows, and it's something that will never be public. Too powerful, too protected, not getting anywhere. No, this is something like, girl, it's giving me like, like the movies. Like, you know, in the movies where like the mom gets away with everything or that like evil villain gets away with everything. Yeah, girl, it's giving that. We're never going to know who that person is or what that entity is. Um, too powerful. But... I think he knew that his time was coming and I think that he was trying to take matters into his own hands, but uh, I don't think he was smart enough. So he was running from whoever this is or whatever this entity is. It reminds me of like a loan shark, you know what I mean? So you have to pay the piper. This is crazy. That's the best I can do. I'm sorry if this is terrible and confusing. It was kind of confusing for me, um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, uh, if you guys could subscribe down below, I'd appreciate that. Follow me Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, and Redity. Um, there's a link to my PayPal down below if you'd like to tip. There's also a new button down below that's a heart that says thanks if you want to directly send me money through YouTube. Um, until next time, bye.